Welcome back everybody to the Creative Coders. I am so excited that you're here. Before we get into today's workshop Wednesday, let's remind ourselves that we are confident, creative, and capable coders as well as people in general. Today we'll be covering variables. Last time we did see a variable called add two. This variable is assigned to the sum of four and five. And when we say assigned, all we're saying is that we're associating a variable name, add two, with a value of some sort, like four plus five. Variables are often compared to boxes, and it's cool to see why. First, just like I said earlier, variables are all about storing values, just how boxes store items. What's also cool about variables is the reasoning and the incentive for using them. Let's say that I needed the number three in a few of the equations I write. Maybe this is a grocery list and I need three apples, three oranges, and three bananas for a smoothie I'm making. Now I could absolutely just do something like this, where I have three variables called total cost apples, total cost oranges, and total cost bananas, all of which have the cost associated with each item times the quantity of the item that we're buying, which is three for all of them. So this is technically perfectly fine, but what if I misread the recipe and actually only needed two of each? Now I have to change values in three different places. And this is why variables can be uniquely useful. Let's say instead that I made a variable called quantity before I created total cost apples, total cost oranges, and total cost bananas. Let's say I assigned this quantity variable to the value of three. So instead of what we had before, we now have something that looks more like this. We see that we still have those three same variables like total cost apples, total cost oranges, and total cost bananas. But we see that we do have a quantity variable before all of these are assigned. And we use this quantity variable throughout those equations. So whenever we're seeing quantity, what we're doing is we're basically saying access the value associated with this variable, which is three. And so you might be asking, we're adding a line, right? We're adding something new. So how is that any easier? That's a great question. And let's say if we return to the same scenario where we needed only two of each instead of three. So instead of explicitly having to change the value of three in three different places, we only have to change one value. And so we only have to change the value we've assigned to the quantity variable. Instead of the quantity variable storing the value of three, it can now store the value of two. So in any place where we see the variable quantity being used, that variable now has the value of two. So this was a pretty simple example, but it showcases the power of variables. Variables are very small, powerful storage units that we can assign values to and use any time after they're defined. Defining a variable in Python simply means assigning a value to it. Variables in Python can be assigned other values at any point in time. And reassignment, thankfully, looks the exact same as assignment. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson on variables. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. I look forward to seeing you back here for Spotlight Saturday.